Today is July 15th, 2022, and it is day number 25 of my true hike, now on Camino Primitivo, to the town of Santiago de Compostela. I'm starting the day in the town of Tineo. It is now 8.30 in the morning, and the idea is to walk to a place called Borres, which is only 10 miles from here. And the reason for stopping in Borres is because tomorrow there are two possibilities. Uh, one, uh, which is going uh, through a route that uh, goes through a mountain region uh, where they have ruins of buildings that were used by pilgrims in the past. This uh, area is uh, known as uh, Hospitales. And this is the, uh, the route that I would like to take tomorrow. So, but in order to do that, I have to spend the night in Boris today. Um, the problem is that I, don't still, I still don't have a place to stay in Boris. It's a very small place and uh, there are only two albergues in town. One of them, I know it's already full. So we'll see how the day is going to be like. I'm going to do my best so I can uh, take the Hospitalis route tomorrow. The weather looked, uh, the weather looks to be really nice. To be hiking in the mountains and this is what I'm already starting doing today. I'm going uphill right now. Uh, basically I'm leaving uh, Tineo which is uh, at an elevation of approximately 1200 feet and I'm going to have to go up to 2700 feet and then go down to Bores and uh, so this is where this is where Camino Primitivo really starts becoming difficult so yeah again look at the view that's the town of Tineo there and basically it's just like a mountain range right here so let's see how the day is going to be like
seems there are more people on Camino Primitivo than on Camino del Norte. But again, maybe it's because Camino del Norte goes through bigger towns, so there are more facilities for hikers to stay in, and one doesn't feel that much the, the number of pilgrims on the trail. But uh, here on Camino Primitivo, there are less places to stay. The places, the, the villages are much smaller. So tonight, you know, uh, the only possibility so far is staying at the uh, municipal albergue. They don't uh, take reservations, but uh, uh, hikers or pilgrims must get there early to make sh sure that they uh, can secure a place. So I'll see if I'm gonna be able to do this in the town of Borres this evening. I'm meeting these two hikers from Ukraine, right here, doing right. Camino de Santiago, man. It's a pleasure meeting you. Pleasure meeting you too. Yes. What's your name? My name is Fyodor. Fyodor, and you? Philip. Philip. So, uh, what are you? Uh, how come are you hiking the Camino de Santiago? What made you decide to do it? Because it's just a good journey to do. Yeah. And we're just doing it with our family, so yep. it makes it worthwhile. So you're here with your uh, father and mother? Sister and another friend's family. Right. And where are you from? From Ukraine. And you? From Ukraine as well, Kiev. From Kiev? And yeah. Are you from Kiev too? I am. Well, I don't live there anymore. But uh, were you born in Kiev? I was, yeah. yeah. Right. So and uh, how come you moved to Spain? It's just beautiful. Yeah. <laughs> so how long you've been living in Spain? I've been living in Spain for seven years. For seven years, and what about yourself? Four years, and I've moved to Edinburgh, Scotland. Yeah. For what made you move to Scotland? Uh, my education. Yeah. I want to pursue economics in the UK. So. Right. Yeah, it's just good. So just you know, a few words. Tell tell us what you, your thoughts about what's happening in Ukraine right now. It's a terrible situation and we're really hoping it gets better. For sure, man. What about yourself? Any words you want to say? I completely agree, to be honest. Yes. So, um, you you don't seem to be a, a, a hiker. You don't have a backpack uh. on your back. But the way you're dressing, I thought you were like a basketball player, but you're telling me uh, you're a soccer player, a football player, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So what's your favorite team? Football. Football team, yeah. It's gotta be Barcelona, to be honest. Barcelona, come on, has to be Dinamo Kiev, man. Ah, that's the best, that's the best. Republican so, Stadion. Mm, it's, the it's the local team. It's, huh? It's the local team, it's close to the heart. Yeah, for sure, man. Yeah. I tell you what, guys, I lived for a year and a half in Ukraine. I love that country, man, and I'm, it's very it saddens me what's happening there, but uh, you know. Ukrainian people are strong people, you know, you you guys know that and yeah. uh, uh, hopefully, you know, the future will be better. Thank you very much. We hope so too. Thank you guys. It was a pleasure meeting you. It's a pleasure meeting you too. Yeah. Thank you. Cut. Buenos dias. Hola. Buenos dias. <laughs> so, um, tell us, what's your name? I am Crystal. I'm in the vlog. <laughs> and uh, where are you coming from? I come from the Netherlands. I live in Utrecht, born and raised in Harlem. 
Yes. <laughs> and where did you start the Camino? In Oviedo. So uh, have you done any Camino before or is this your first time? This is the first time. Okay, you can see like I'm a cripple oh. after four, four days. Let's see it. <laughs> uh, I see that you're doing pretty good. Yeah. So how, how do you enjoy it this far? I am I'm loving it. <laughs> yes. Um, nice company, nice weather. Well, not now, but the sun is out most of the time. Um, nice food. Yes. Um, painful feet, but that's all worth it. Beautiful views. Yes. Everything you want. And some rain right now. Look yes. at that. Free Beautiful. shower. Yes. Albergue Santa Maria de Borres, 227 kilometers to Santiago. This is the place. Hola, señor, ¿cómo estás? Hola, buenas. Buenas, buenas. Coja usted sitio sí. y hay que ir al bar. No, yo ya fui al bar. Ah, ya lo sé. Ah, oh, sí. ¿Lo sabía? Ya no, por acaso. Hola. Hola. So this is Borres, it's a pueblo, it's a small village they have in this mountain area here. And I was able to find a bed in the municipal albergue and uh, that's where I'm going to be sleeping tonight. And so it was a short day, I hiked 10 miles from Tineo to Borges. And the idea is that from here, I'm going to be taking a mountain route, which goes through a, a region that they call Hospitales. So I couldn't go any further today if I wanted to do this route. Uh, and so this is uh, what I decided to do. Uh, it's, uh, it's, uh, it's a short day for me today and uh, of hiking. And so tomorrow I'm going to be rested so I can go up the mountains uh, they say it's like one of the most uh, beautiful section of camino primitivo so yeah so i'm just gonna take it easy here today uh, i'm gonna now go uh, into the center they have a one bar there and they serve food so i'm gonna get a bite to eat and uh, and i'm gonna rest so tomorrow i can continue my true hike on Camino Primitivo to the town of Santiago de Compostela.